G'day, Nick from AustralianNativeBee.com. Today we're going out to catch some blue banded bees and uh, I'm going to show you how to put them into something so that you can take those back to your own home for your garden. I had a call out from the council and there's blue banded bees uh, nesting in the middle of the city of all places so they've asked that uh, I try and remove them or get them nesting in another area so I'm going to show you how I do that today. I'm just on my way to someone's house who has some already pre-set up boxes that I'm going to use so I'll show you those later. Okay we're on a uh, location here in the middle of the city and you can see that there's blue banded bees wanting to nest in in between the cracks of this wall which is exposing old dry dirt. So uh, I'll just show you. Alright you can see the blue banded bees here now. Uh, people have made some complaints, I don't know why, they're scared of bees. Um, but basically what's going to happen is uh, some guy's going to seal up these gaps. Any uh, bees that have laid their young in there won't be able to uh, get out I guess unless they climb up through the top but uh, what I'm going to do is put these blocks this is um, compacted sand uh, but co compacted dirt works a lot better it's a little bit noisy here um, so yeah we'll drill drill a couple of little holes into the blocks to start the bees off and then we'll leave them here for a few weeks and come back Alright, so I'm just going to drill some, let's bore a few more little holes in these sand blocks. And uh, when there's nowhere else for the bees to go, they'll go in there. Alright, so we're back here, all the joins are taped up, the bees are just going crazy looking for somewhere to nest, uh, so we've put the boxes down closer to where they're actually flying about, and we've also made a rammed earth one, uh, from talking to John Clump, he said that rammed earth is a favourite, so we're going to leave those here and just see what happens with the bees. Back out here about a month later, uh, it's blowing a gale in the city. Um, it's really cold and there's not many bees anymore because it's probably too cold for them to fly. So the boxes are looking quite good. There's uh, some new holes drilled in there. There's one down here. And uh, over here, you can see that uh, a lot of the dirt has been displaced. But we've got these little uh, pockets and holes dug in there. So what I'm going to do is take these uh, boxes back home. I probably won't film that but yeah basically that's how you do it. My advice if you see a blue banded bee aggregate and you want to do something like this and, and take them back home is to take a bunch of soil from where they're actually uh, uh, making their nest already and compact it at home with a mallet into a tub or a, a container of some sort and then uh, set that trap out so that they can go in there and uh, you can take them home but they'll prefer the dirt that they've already picked so there you go.